Hey guys, it's Tampa Tech, and I'm going to show you three different types of soldering irons. I'm going to show you which one heats up the fastest and which one may be best for you. So right here, I got a 50 watt Radio Shack adjustable soldering iron. And it's powered by a power cord that's connected to an AC outlet. So this is an electrical soldering iron. Comes in with a docking station, sponge, um, the dock right here, of course, the soldering iron. Um, right here, we got a portable butane soldering iron. Isotip makes one. Radio Shack makes a very similar one as well. They both work really well and they charge up using butane. Now, this thing costs about $25, the same price as the electrical soldering iron, but you do have to pay $10 for a can of butane every time. And this probably lasts me about maybe like six months at a time, but it only lasts 30 minutes. So you want to make sure you turn it off every time. If you're not going to use it for more than five minutes, you want to turn it off. It has a little kickstand right here. It's very nice. And the lever is really easy to use. And to charge it, only that only thing you have to do is open this up, the butane, tip it upside down, and just press down on the can and hold this hold the soldering iron steady. And that's how you fill it up. It does freeze your hand a little bit. Right here, and you get a little bit of butane on your skin. Just you don't want to use the soldering iron near anything that's um, flammable, um, like carpet or you know if you're wearing a long sleeve shirt that's loose. And it comes with a nice little cap right here to cover it, and you can clip it onto your belt. The flint is pretty good, but eventually you're gonna have to replace it or use a, a lighter. You can use a lighter and just do the same thing. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. Let's turn it up. And you see that blue flame? You can't not you you can't use it if it has a blue flame shooting out from the sides. You have to wait until it's orange. All right. So right now, it, there it goes. All the sides are lit right here. I'm gonna wait until it turns orange like that. And then let's go ahead and turn this on and see which one heats up the fastest. And right here, this is an ISO tip rechargeable battery operated soldering iron. It heats up in 10 seconds. It's pretty amazing. So right here, we're gonna see, I'm gonna press the button and it's turned off until you press the button. When you press the button, it's turned on. If you get a bright light, that means it's fully charged. If this light is dim, that means you need to charge it. And it takes three to four hours to fully charge it and you get 30 minutes of uh, charge time. But what's cool about this is when you're charged, anytime you're not using it, this is your docking station, is the recharge station. It's pretty convenient. So pretty much it has a full charge every time you use it. So let's go ahead and press the button. And this is still blue flame, so I can't use it. And this heats up, look at that. Wow. That heats up so fast. So that's done heating up. Let's see if this is ready to heat. Is that ready? Oh, almost. It's it just about ready. Oh, there it goes. It's ready to use. It's orange now. See? And the reason why you don't want to use it when it's a blue flame is because if you're soldering the board, it's going to scorch the board. It's going to burn up your board. And this thing solders pretty well when it's ready. It just takes like maybe 30 seconds to a minute to use. Just like that. Alright, so that's not too bad. And then when you're not using it, you want to keep it low. Or you could turn it off. And when you turn it off, you could turn it right back on. Just like that. And still use it. But you want I, I tend to keep it low. This one takes the longest to heat up. This is about like a full minute and a half to heat up. And just about ready. It looks like it's just about ready. And let's go ahead and heat up this pin. Oh, it's heated up. There it goes. It's working pretty good now. 
So, and I'm gonna go ahead and clean it on the wet sponge, right there. And let's go ahead and retin it. I'm gonna tin the tip. There we go. So this one, this one is very reliable, but the problem is I have to be within six feet of an AC outlet. This is a very good soldering iron, but you have to have butane and you have to be careful not to burn things around you like carpet. This is safe to use. Even if you have it in your toolbox, you could turn it to the lock position and it won't turn on. It's safe. It heats up in about 10 seconds to 900 degrees, ready, easily melting solder, and it cools down in about a minute. And you can touch it, see? No problem. And if this bat, um, the light turns dim, you know to recharge it. But it's always going to be charged because this is your docking station. This is where you're going to leave it most of the time. And it comes with two tips. It comes with a thick tip right here. So if you have bigger soldering jobs, you use the thick tip. And it's already tinned, looks like. And right here, you got a thin tip. And they're so easy to change out. Only thing you have to do is press down on the leaf springs right here. Push down, pull out, and then you swap it out right here. Push down again, and you want the flat side down. Push that in, and you're ready to solder. And it stays on pretty well, see? The light is replaceable as well. And there's virtually no electronics in this thing. So if you open it up right here, part. Right here, there's your battery, rechargeable battery right here. There's your fuse, this little fuse, like little fuse wire I guess, right here. There's your contacts for your charging. This leaf spring right here. This leaf spring is the button to turn it on. This is a very simple design that works great. And they haven't changed the design since the 80s. So which one do I use the most? I would say I use the ISO tip the most. It's the most reliable. It's the fastest to heat up, ready to use. It's portable. The butane, I tend not to use too much. So this thing goes for about $50. I'll leave a link in the video description below. It's definitely worth $50. The butane is a great soldering iron. However, you do have to buy a bunch of butane, which costs anywhere between $5 to $10 a can. So in the long run, this is going to cost you more money. And this soldering iron, I'm never going to part away. This is just a reliable soldering iron I have at my desk. And it's always ready to solder when I need it. And I could just leave it on and just use it when I need to use it. So if this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in any of these three soldering irons, click on the link below. And subscribe to Tampa Tech for more how-to videos and tech reviews.